December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. World, World War II was, was a global, global conflict, conflict at an unprecedented scale. scale. The absolute urgency of mobilizing the entire population gave rise to the role of women in the workforce. What was previously considered man's work was now in the domain of women. Oh, I've done it again. Is that the last of Rose? Yeah, and a good thing too. I heard on the radio they're talking about the national speed limit of 35. What's next? Turning in your silverware for ammunition. It's a good cause. If I wasn't so young, I'd be out there fighting for us. Yeah, and if you weren't so dumb and half deaf, from your head to an engine on your life, huh? knock it off your rags. Jasper, clean that Chevy up and drive it over to George's. Try not to wreck it. It's paying the rent for the next month. Give me a raise. And you hush about going over there, Tommy. I already lost every able-bodied man in this town. I was really building something here. I was the biggest auto dealer in the Northeast. When I heard we were attacked on the radio, it didn't seem real. I didn't think our little lives and with our families in our corner of the country would be affected. But we are, all of us. There's an energy in the air and in the people. We are needed and important, Eddie. And Tommy and I have been working on an idea to convert the line into living airplane parts. It really wouldn't be too hard to get us up and running, boss. Yeah? And who's going to do it? You, Rosie? Are you going to roll up your sleeves and join the cause? I know more about machinery than you do, Eddie. Besides, it'd be safer for me to build something than you. She has a point, boss. You say you want to take classes. How progressive? Ballet, music, or art? It's more of an art class, Helen. Let's not make a joke on the spot. Let's get on with the meeting and then play some bridge. It's fun, Eddie. I don't mind. In high school, I always strived for music and art, and my aunt urged me to use my artistic talents in the real world trade. I moved here to attend an engineering, science, and war management training course at Purdue. Oh, you didn't know there's such a thing. I am the only woman in my class, but if I can stick it out, I will be able to achieve my certificate in elementary machine and tool design. And why would you want that path of my certificate? To aid in the war efforts, first and foremost. Good afternoon, ladies. Hello, my darling. How's the bridge game going? Have you caught Margaret tweeting yet? John, you scoundrel. Don't tease her, John. You've met everyone here except for young Catherine Hartley. Catherine, this is my fiance, John Stanley. Uh, what brings you by, dear? I came to drop off the wedding invitations. Ooh. <laughs> and um, who is this you're with? Ladies, this is Rosie. She's the secretary at work. I brought her by to put you ladies on an idea she and I did with Hello, Rose. Um, what's this idea? Today has been full of such interesting and progressive ideas, I'm not sure we have room for another. I'm sorry to interrupt the game, but I was wondering if anyone was interested in working at Eddie's. John, you told me Eddie's was closing. It is, anyway. Since we can't make car parts anymore, we're getting a government contract to make airplane parts. With so many of our men heading overseas, we have the unique opportunity to fill in for them while they are away fighting for our freedom. We're all aware of this war. It's around us every day. You've heard, you've seen, the telegraph delivered to friends' doorsteps and after the loss of a loved one on foreign soil. You've heard the calls on the radio to do your part. Personally, I want more for the next generation. I'm willing to roll up my sleeves and do my part. If any of you are interested in doing the same, stop by the shop and I'll get you signed up. I always thought if there's something that you think you should do, then you should do it. I can't explain it, but this feels right. And I don't think planting vegetables in my backyard or behind a war bond is enough. That sounds great, but what difference do you really think you can make? What difference do you think you can make, John? You're not a soldier. You're a salesman. I may not be the army type, but I'm still going to fight for our freedoms. That's what me and Rose were talking about when I said about the shop. Oh, so you and Rose were just talking in the shop. Look, I'm sorry I've caused so much trouble. But some days you have a lot to talk about. Afternoon, ladies. Mail call. After Kate takes down your information, I'm going to need you to pick up your uniform and head covering. Do any of you have any experience in the machine shop whatsoever? Good. Then you ladies know the drill. After today, you are never to be on the line without the proper attire. Accidents do happen. Try your best to be safe. Moving machinery, dust, fumes, improper lifting, and carelessness can all lead to injury and even death around here. You're not vacuuming parlors or hanging laundry on the line, girls. 
We are welders, riveters, and machinists now. So start acting like one. That's your personal propaganda machine, Eddie. What's your beef, Rose? My beef, Eddie? I'm no hero. I'm not poster board material. Sure you are. Just think. We'll be fast in your cause. My cause? What about our cause, Eddie? Or are you still in this just for yourself? Hey, now. I've been right here with you. Yeah, you have. But you always have some angle. What is it this time? A big fat government contract for the next 10 years? Or are you an honorary lieutenant now? I'm doing my part. Why shouldn't I get something in return? Isn't that the American way? Working from nothing to get something? Just because I'm not throwing myself at the war like your little Johnny boy doesn't mean I don't care. Johnny has nothing to do with this. Oh no? Then why are you here, Rosie? You got nobody over there. You have no horse in this race unless- What do you care, Eddie? As long as I'm making my quota and running your line, you don't care about my life or my problems. Come on in. I'll give you an answer. What is it you want me to do? We want you to become a symbol for women across the country. Something that will inspire others to follow in Mr. Kendrick's footsteps and utilize the women of our nation in the war effort. We'll need to take your picture. Sure, the women of the country that working is approachable and necessary. We'll also need a catchy name or slogan. <laughs> Ask Eddie. I'm sure he's way ahead of you. Colonel, you're looking at the woman who drilled 99 holes and placed a record of 3,345 rivets in the torpedo bombing aircraft of Avenger and was recognized from a, present, from a personal letter by President Roosevelt himself. We call her what she is, Rosie the Raven. 